person in general make the most money of their lives somewhere between their 40s and early 60s. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so you're looking at a guy who's used to living alone or not being married from 18 and getting married for the first time somewhere north of 35. With Kevin Samuels coming out in the last two years with the high value black man debate, many people got inspired. I mean, a lot of brothers wanted to do better for themselves. A lot of black women wanted to find how they could meet these guys. Guys with great networks, industry leaders, men taking care of business. However, Brother Omawale Africa has a pretty good topic on this. Check him out. And that is, do high value black men suck at relationships? Because they're so busy making money, but they don't know how to keep a woman or how to keep a family or how to build a family. So I want to check out um, Kevin Samuels' thoughts on the topic from a past video he did with Fresh to Fit in this particular panel to see if we can come to a resolution at the end. Let's get into the video. Men in general make the most money of their lives somewhere between their 40s and early 60s. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so you're looking at a guy who's used to living alone or not being married from 18 and getting married for the first time somewhere north of 35. Mm -hmm. And he's halfway decent looking. Mm -hmm. And he makes a lot more money than the average black man. Mm -hmm. And he lives in an area where the number of desirable black men is much more rarer than the number of even passable black women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be his way or the highway. Yeah, Let, but 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 hold on one second. Stay there for a second because this is important. Mm -hmm. The his way or the highway piece. You talked about a man who, like you said, was alone or not in serious relationship up until his late. Well, he wasn't birthday. married. That's wasn't married up until his late. Th and and Brandon, you and I had this conversation. You've been married for ten years. I've been married for ten years. Mm -hmm. We both talked about growing and developing a set of skill sets. Having been married for that period of time, right? If a man is in his late thirties and hasn't had to had the ability to develop or build that muscle mm -hmm. he has to rely heavily on dominance control and ownership right that has to be the type of relate because he doesn't have the skills somebody used the word compromise he won't have those skills to negotiate he'll have to lean heavily on punishment to get his way because he hasn't really matured in that area. So this is this is the conversation that I'm trying to tease out, which is why I'm this is um, good content here. I think that's um, I don't agree with everything, but I do. I see. That's why the red pill spaces have to be some of the ideas have to be sometimes challenged because some things that we may say some of the guys might not be so realistic. But I think this is very realistic. We've seen it with Tom Brady and, you know, with his with his wife, right? Um, no matter how alpha you are and successful you are, you know, if you want to stay in a relationship with a woman, the, my way or the highway way, it sounds good, but it doesn't work like that. There's, business relationships don't really work like that. Dictatorships of countries work like that. And then you end up getting, you know, military coup or, you know, once the, the, the uh, person dies and the family gets hatred forever. So any relationships, there has to be compromise, negotiation. And I think that would be a problem for a guy who's used to be living by himself, just like a woman. And then you get a woman and then all of a sudden you're so used to doing things your way. And, you know, you have to deal with this lady in a relationship with in my way or the highway. The, the, the one pushback I will have is a guy who still has a stuff together, even if that relationship failed, would go back and get another one. Whereas with women, I don't know how easy that could be for that woman. But I, I do agree that it is a skill, learning how to negotiate, learning how to compromise with a woman, because you just can't do everything you want to do when you're married. This is absolutely great content and a great observation by Brother Omawala Africa. I think it is very genuine. We want to talk about black relationships. It is a skill that I have to develop. If I'm gonna get married or have long, you know, get married one day, Definitely have to have this skill. It's gonna be real. Which is what I'm saying. 
Okay, high value man, that's one concept. But a high value relationship that's rooted in harmony and not in harm, it takes a set of skill sets that a lot of us, both men and women, do not have. And I would say that, you know, social media has going DEFCON 9 on those skill sets because, you know, the OnlyFans economy, the narcissist economy, like people's mindsets are completely unrealistic, right? 300% right. He's absolutely right. This is a great, great breakdown. You have, like, I, I was talking, talking to my, 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 my brother. His, he has younger sons in their twenties. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to deal with a lot of the girls out here because they're saying that these women are not wives. They're not thrifty. They want to Uber everywhere, right? If you want to date them, well, send me two hundred dollars to get this, 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 and that before I even go on the date. Yeah. So, like, how can you, you know, if you want to marry in your early twenties and build with somebody? How can you build with somebody who's just a complete liability? Yes. They don't want to they don't want to build together. Yes. They don't want to go and grow through anything together. They just want you when you're already complete. Yes. Which is why those relationships tend to be transactional. Ownership, control, dominance. And it's like, "Okay, I'm cool with it. I take my end of the bargain as long as you pay in like you weigh. I'll have it." But is that an actual high value relationship that's what i'm trying to get us to tease out yeah. right. well wait, let me get to this as far as the high value relationships i would have to say in the united states of america most western countries regardless of race it seems that almost a lot of marriages are transactional in general because women are filing a divorce what is it 70 percent in the black community 80 percent of clip and those divorce attorneys and those things that happen with these men, these are transactional relationships. And I don't think that a lot of these guys who are going through this are guys who are 35 and up and high value. I know she was talking about too, but the guys who are getting divorced, I mean, I'll bring up Tom Brady again because he was a kind of a tweener. He got married in his 20s. He developed those skills to such a certain extent. He could develop these skills and still get divorced. Many guys do who are not high value guys. The majority of people getting married today are not high value guys and they are getting divorced. High value relationships, high value, those things tend to be an anomaly and very hard to get to. And I think you need a whole lot of factors for that to work. Primarily, uh, it could be religious communities and families that were already married are race involved in that. And then I wanted you to answer the question. I don't think it is, and I think I think we're headed in that direction where things are transactional. And when you look at Gen Z um, and the alphas, that's where they're at. They're very transactional in their relationships. They don't even their long term relationships are like barely three months. So it, it, it's a different type of dynamic with them. But for us, I'm in my mid thirties. You know, I have the the I, I'm fortunate enough to have the internet experience and the non internet experience when it comes to dating. So. My, my, per, my my perspective on what I need or what I needed to get married was a little different than where a lot of the young people are today in their early twenties. So um, I think we're headed. I think we're headed in the wrong direction, and things are going to be way more transactional as we go. All right, so sister ahead, Hanif, I, I have a question for you, and I agree with that. I, the prostitute culture is taking over. Like every man is a potential trick. Like that's what it looked like. Everything is like because women are like women are like. Um, I, I saw I saw a um a TikTok the other day. And it was like, this is what it's like dating in 2022. It's like the girl would say, what's your favorite color? And the guy would be like, blue. And then the guy would be like, what color are nipples? Brown, dark brown, tan. It's like, so it's like guys are so focused on the sex that women are now like, well, shit, first of all, in order to make myself visible to the guys in the dating pool, I have to compete with the thoughts because the thoughts are who, who are commanding all the attention. So now I have to do more and be a little bit more loose. But not only that, women are like, these relationships are not long and dudes are really just trying to get what they want without giving anything in return. So women are now asking a friend, like, listen, if you want my time, it costs money. So things are purely transactional. Like we we've been pooping in the dating pool. So now it doesn't require skill. You don't need a skill set to have relations with a whore and a whore doesn't need a skill set to have relations with a trick because it's just that transaction. I pay you to leave. But to have a marriage, 
a high value relationship, a way of relating that is healthy and harmonious. It takes a skill set that many of us do not have. And that's the, that's the conversation I'm trying to have because I want us to, to then identify what are those skills Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how do we go about acquiring them if we're not in relationship? Well, first of all, you have to, you have to consider those skills to be important. How many black people consider active listening to be important? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many black women consider active listening? Let's 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 be real. Okay, so I know brother Omawale didn't have a lot of agreeing. Agreeance is with uh, Kevin Samuels when he was alive, but I'm gonna tell you why they're gonna agree today. Okay, Kevin Samuels explains what a high value man this is from an old fresh and fit clip when he went down to miami i believe it was sometime in 2021 let's check out this clip and we're going to find out why omawali africa agrees with kevin samuels maybe even older women Mm -hmm. as to how to lock down a high value man Mm -hmm. you know you're getting five thousand plus people watching you uh asking these questions what would be the one of the biggest takeaway tips you could give to women in the current dating marketplace and lock down a high value guy. Mm. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Cause only 10% of you are going to get it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I look one of the biggest uh, 20% Bam. of you can qualify for it. Maybe 10% of you will land it. And that's really what my show is based on. You can, I, I don't begrudge you wanting what you want. Well, are you an eight, nine, and ten? Well, actually, an adjustable six, eight, or nine in the looks. And are you an eight, nine, or ten in the body? If not, move along. Move along. Um, <laughs> this is South Beach. So, what Kevin is saying is this: that really, being getting a high value man is going to be based on what is your attractive level, right? And I think that's fair overall. But let's take Oma Wale's point for why Kevin is right, even though he said the different thing. Women haven't developed these skills to even get in the same room as these guys who have the same level of work ethic. They don't know what these men want. They don't know how to add value to these men. That's why these men are very few of the population. They're highly coveted. And this is why women will have a hard time obtaining them simply because they don't have the skills that Omar Wale was talking about. He said, black women in active listening. You said at the end, black people in active listening, being uh, feminine, you know, some of those, some of those qualities that women feel like they don't need to work on. And when you're dealing with a high value man, not only do you have to be usually somewhat attractive, how you act is also going to play paramount in the decision of him to keep you. Because some women are going to have just looks, but you don't have the other thing. So it's very difficult for you to be considered with those things being taken into, taken into that. Oh, um, <laughs> this is South Beach. You don't come to South Beach if you rock in a one piece. This is two piece town. This mm-hmm. is a bikini town. Mm-hmm. So this high value thing has worked because it just says women are hypergamous they want to consolidate on the highest value man possible but that may be different see that's possible what's possible for tina is not possible for angie is not boom because 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 angie might not want to sacrifice her behavior to keep the guy whereas tina may well do so because maybe she physically she isn't more attractive But then also she acts differently. She puts herself available, makes herself available to be in certain communities, to be around the men that she wants to have. That also is a fundamental difference. It's not Mm. possible for Hillary. So now I got women finally asking themselves the question, what does the kind of man that you want, want from a woman? Mm. Oh! Let's stop right there. What does he want from a woman? What is the kind of man that you want from a woman? They, see, they have never figured it out. So with that, you can't even get in the door. That's the issue. So I think Omawali Africa answered this question.
Kevin Samuels answered for him. They both agree, in my opinion. But guys, what do you think? Subscribe to the bell. Check out the comment, first comment to die. We're out.